So guys, welcome back to another video and welcome to my early Team of the Week predictions for Team of the Week number 7, which of course will be dropping on Wednesday. If you want to get your hands on some coins to buy players like those featuring in this video, check out my sponsor in the description, igvault.com, and if you use the code Kieran at checkout, you'll get yourself a pretty big discount. Now, if you're new to the channel or just don't know how this series works, essentially we take a look at the fixtures from the past 48 hours in the top 5 leagues and we try and identify some potential informs for Wednesday. If you want to see a full Team of the Week prediction, that will come out tomorrow night once more games have been played, and that video will also cover every single league that is in FIFA. So if you're not subscribed already, make sure you do that, and that way you'll be notified when I upload that tomorrow night. Also, a cheeky little plug, um, join my Discord, there's a link to do so in the description down below. Um, in my Discord, if you want early Team of the Week notes, I actually post them all in there, so uh, be sure to give that a click as well. Okay then, let's begin, and we will start with the Friday fixtures and in the Premier League. The first game to discuss is between Brighton and Burnley, and the game ended in a really entertaining... 0-0 scoreland, so uh, yeah, not too much to discuss here. Although Brighton were attacking a lot in this game, I think they had like 19 shots in this game, which is pretty crazy. So uh, Nick Pope was a pretty busy man, so maybe he has a chance at getting an inform this week. He did, of course, keep a clean sheet, and he made three saves. But uh, three saves isn't too impressive, so... Um, yeah, unsure whether he'll pick up the inform, but it would be a nice card for Ultimate Team if he did, because his non-inform is very, very good this year. So, uh, yeah, maybe Nick Pope or maybe one of the Burnley defenders could be a viable option from this game, despite it ending in a scoreless draw. One game that did not end scoreless was the match between Southampton and Newcastle, and the home side got the job done thanks to goals from Che Adams and Stuart Armstrong. Um, in this game, Stuart Armstrong got man of the match, not just from this website, but also from Sky and a bunch of other outlets. So a goal and man of the match could be enough to see him pick up his first special item of FIFA 21. Although I will add, I don't think it's too likely. I don't think one goal will be enough, but um, it does depend on how many other midfield options we have for our team of the week seven. Over in the La Liga, Elche and Celta Vigo finished in a 1-1 draw. And um, yeah, it's just one of them games where no play particularly stood out. So an inform just probably won't come from this game. And I say probably pretty confidently as well. So maybe the word to use isn't probably, uh, maybe it's certainly. So so uh, yeah, no inform, no special item being produced from this match. The same, to be honest, can be said for this match between Sassuolo and Udinese. As you can see, there was no particular standout player. And I've checked the Gazetta ratings as well. And uh, yeah, ultimately, no inform is coming from this game either because there just wasn't a standout player. And unfortunately, this seems to be a continuous trend for Friday's fixtures. Werder Bremen and FC Cologne finished in a one or draw. One of the goals was a penalty, the other was an own goal, and other than that, there's not too much to discuss from this game, so let's just move on quickly. The final Friday game we're going to discuss is in the Ligue 1, and it was between Strasbourg and Marseille, and the away side got the job done thanks to a goal from Morgan Sanson. Um, Sanson's in the current road to the final promo, so I can't see him picking up an inform for just one goal. And Amavi recently had a first inform, so I don't think he'll get picked either. And because of that, I just don't think an inform will come from this game. It's now time to move on to Saturday's fixtures, and we're going to actually begin in the Bundesliga, because there are plenty of matches to discuss from there. We've actually got six that were played today, so uh, let's begin, shall we? RB Leipzig against Freiburg finished in a 3-0 scoreline for the home side. And uh, as you can see, we've actually got a few options from this game. Um, so Bitsa scored a penalty, but I don't think he'll pick up an inform for that. But one of these defenders definitely could. Um, Kanate got the opening goal and claimed the clean sheet. So I feel like he is probably the most likely to pick up the inform. But Angelino is also an option at left back. He got the third goal and also recorded a clean sheet. So um, two pretty solid options for uh, the defence of Team of the Week uh, 6. Uh, no, 7 right there. So um, which one do you think will pick up the inform? Let me know in the comments. Union Berlin put five goals past Arminia. And in this game, there are a couple of inform candidates. One of them is Becker, but with him being silver, I can't see him getting in for just a goal and a assist, especially with so many hat-tricks already being scored. Um, so we're going to ignore him, unfortunately. And then I think the next best option in this game is probably Max Cruz, who got a goal and two assists. One of the, uh, His only goal, sorry, was a penalty, so that very well could go against him. So he's going to need a decent match rating from kicker to a solidify spot in Team of the Week, in my opinion. The next game was between Mainz and Schalke, and it finished in a 2 all draw and ultimately it's one of them games where there wasn't a massive standout performer so um, I don't think an inform will come from this game sadly. One game which could have produced an inform was the match between Augsburg and Hertha Berlin. Now the away side won 3-0 thanks to goals from Piatek, uh, Luka Bakio and, and Cunha. 
Now, Cunha got in the current team of the week, or last week's team of the week, however you want to look at it. And in my opinion, I thought that was a really soft pick from EA. And if they'd waited, they could have put him in this week for a goal and a assist and a pretty good performance. So, uh, yeah, unfortunately, he is void and can't get into the upcoming team of the week. Uh, the next best option maybe then would be Luka Bakio, but I can't see him getting in for just one goal, if I'm being honest. There was another 2-2 draw in the Bundesliga in game number five. Stuttgart and Frankfurt played out in a tie. A um, couple, of, well, quite a few different goal scorers in this game and also a player who got two assists um, as well. But um, it's just going to be one of them games that won't produce an inform, in my opinion, unless one of these players gets the kick at team of the, not team of the week, sorry, player of the week. The final game in the Bundesliga on Saturday was the big one between Dortmund and Bayern Munich and this game did not disappoint, ending in a 3-2 scoreline and the game had plenty of happenings in it. Now in terms of an inform, it's very likely this kind of match will produce a special item so I do expect an inform to come up from this game and I think the standout options are um, Alaba and Sane. Now I know Lewandowski got himself a goal and a assist but with him being so high rated I don't think he'll pick up an inform for just a goal and a assist because obviously his standards are very very high literally and um, arguably is the best forward in the world right now best striker in the world anyway and um, so yeah I don't think he will pick up the inform unless he gets the kick at player of the week so uh, the other options are Olaba and Sane Sane of course does have a one to watch item so EA could side with him or they could go with Olaba who got himself um, a goal just before half time with a very nice free kick but um, as a defender he didn't keep a clean sheet and did concede twice, so that could go against him. So maybe they'll go for Sane, who, like I said, does have the one to watch item. Which player from uh, Bayern Munich do you think EA will go for? Let me know in the comments below. Let's now move over to the La Liga, and the first game we'll discuss is between Huesca and Ibar. And there's some interesting match ratings to come from this game, to be honest. And they're all um, with defenders, so... Uh, yeah, an inform maybe could come from this game. I don't think it's super likely, but it's it's certainly possible. Oliveira probably would be the favourite. Um, he got the assist for his side's goal and also made a key clearance in this game. But without him keeping a clean sheet, I couldn't confidently say that uh, I see him picking up an inform. But there are options from this match, but I don't think it's too likely that one of them gets picked. One game which certainly could produce an inform is the match between Barcelona and Real Betis. In this game, there was plenty of goal scorers. Now, there is a possibility of an inform Messi this week but let's be honest two goals for Messi like like with Lewandowski he's got such high standards it's unlikely he's going to pick up an inform for two goals especially with one of them being a penalty so I think there's a, a chance of an inform Messi this week but I think it's a very very slim one he did come off the bench to uh, pretty much change the game so uh, there is that but um, as I say I don't see it happening unfortunately this week other options um, include um, we've got Dembele who got on the score sheet Jordi Alba got an assist but Sergio Roberto would probably be be my prime candidate from this match with him getting two assists from the right back role but he did concede twice as a defender so that obviously does go against him but um yeah we'll have to see what happens with this one I'd probably want to see more match ratings from this game before I made a confident pick but as things stand I'd probably say that Sergio Roberto is my favorite. Sevilla beat Osasuna at home one goal to nil and the goal was a penalty and ultimately that is all there is to say from this game um yeah, an inform just won't be coming from it, I don't think. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, let's move on quickly. The final game to discuss in the La Liga features a pretty big scoreline. Atletico Madrid won 4-0 against Cadiz, and there are a couple of inform candidates from this game, one of which is Void, so uh, the other one is probably the standout. So uh, let's talk about the obvious. Xiao Felix, two goals and eight assists for him. Um, obviously, normally, that would pretty much get him the inform, but he's in the current team of the week, therefore can't be in the next one. So uh, he won't be picking up another special card this week. But uh, one player that certainly could be is Lorente, who actually started the game um, and got a goal and an assist and was actually involved in the first two goals as well. So I think he's got a very good chance at pick picking up sorry, an inform this week. He was involved in last week's Rule Breakers promo, but since that isn't performed, Based, I don't think it'll affect anything, so I think there is a very good chance we see an inform the rental this week, and I think that inform will be pretty expensive too. It's time to discuss some Premier League action now, and we begin with Everton against Man United, in which Man United won this game at three goals to one, and there is an obvious candidate for an inform from this game, and that is, of course, Bruno Fernandes, who scored twice and also set up the third goal. So, uh, 
yeah, I think it's pretty likely he will be picking up a second in form on Wednesday. And I do expect that card to be pretty freaking expensive. His first in form's awesome. His non-informed's awesome, to be fair. So a second in form, uh, Bruno Fernandes, I think is going to be an absolutely outstanding card. And he probably is going to be one of, if not the, headlining player of Team of the Week number seven. One player that could be joining him in the Team of the Week is Crystal Palace's Eze, who got himself a goal and a assist in Palace's 4-1 win against Leeds United. And the goal that he scored was an absolutely fantastic fantastic free kick as well so I do recommend looking that up if you haven't seen it so uh, yeah that's pretty much all I've got to say about this game to be honest and um, I think he's in with a very good shout at making um, an appearance in team of the week number seven and could be picking up his first special card of FIFA 21. Another Premier League game another potential Premier League in form Chelsea beat Sheffield United 4-1 and uh, in this game there are numerous in form candidates and um, Hakim Ziyech was the man of the match and he set up two of the goals but he cannot pick up an in form due to the recency of his latest inform and uh, that leaves us with just two or three options in my opinion. I think the remaining options are between Thiago Silva, Chilwell and Kante and I think Thiago Silva probably is the best pick of the bunch as he got the highest match rating aside from Ziyech in this game so uh, although, didn't keep, uh, although sorry, he didn't keep a clean sheet he did get a goal and uh, yeah uh, put in a good performance too and like I say did get a good match rating too so uh, could we finally see an upgrade to those one to watch Thiago Silvers I think it's unlikely but um, it's certainly a possibility the last Premier League game on the Saturday was between West Ham and Fulham and there was some late drama in this game West Ham won the game thanks to a late goal in injury time from Suchek so maybe he could pick up an inform this week however I think Fabianski might be a bit more deserving because literally I think it was like in the 97th minute of injury time and um, West Ham gave away a penalty penalty and uh, Fulham took it and Fabianski made the save so a 97th or 98th minute penalty save from Fabianski I think could be worthy of an inform to be honest he also made a couple of other saves in that game so uh, literally saved his team the three points in this match so I think Suchek or Fabianski are good shouts for team the week seven. Jumping over to Italy now Cagliari beat Sampdoria two goals two nil and uh, the star player in this one was probably Nandes but will he pick up an inform for one goal? Eh, I'm not too sure about that, to be honest. And then in the second game in the Serie A, uh, Spezia beat Benevento 3-0. And two of the goals came from forward Enzola, who actually isn't in Ultimate Team. Therefore, can't pick up an inform. So, uh, yeah, there's that. And then in the final game in the Serie A on Saturday, uh, Parma and Fiorentina played out to a 0-0 draw. And... Yeah, there just isn't too much to discuss here. The goalkeeper, Seppi, made a couple of saves and kept a clean sheet, so I suppose he is a potential option. But ultimately, um, unless he gets a good rating from Gazetta, he won't be featuring. But um, I'll know about that match rating tomorrow. We're going to finish in League 1 this week. Bordeaux and Montpellier ended in a 2-0 scoreline. Dolo and Molle were the goal scorers, but... Um, yeah, I just don't think an inform will be produced from this fixture. One game that certainly could, though, is the PSG Stad Rene game, which uh, saw Di Maria get two goals and a assist. Once again, did feature in the recent Rule Breakers promo, but uh, I don't think that will affect it. I think seeing an inform Di Maria on Wednesday is very, very likely. So guys, there you have it. That is my early look at the upcoming Team of the Week. Obviously, my full Team of the Week predictions for Team of the Week 7 will come out tomorrow, so do look out for them. And um, that's pretty much all I've got to say. If you could leave a like rating on this video, that would be great. Comment below who you think will pick up an inform in the upcoming Team of the Week. I want to hear your predictions. Subscribe if you're new. Thanks for watching once more. I'll catch you in the next one.